Hello everyone, welcome back to my garage. And I know I haven't posted in a while, but I've been busy, but I have been answering your question on the message. So if you have a question or a comment, I will be answering those to you, you know? Um, a lot of people ask like, what happened after I replaced the ignition model and that didn't um, fix the problem with the generator not starting or starting inconsistently, you know? So I contact Jeff Max for the second time. They got, went over uh, troubleshooting over the phone with me, with the generator, and they decide to replace this unit. So they will be picking up this unit in the near future, sending it back to China for further analysis to ensure their quality product because they said there is something wrong with the unit. We would like to know what it is to uh, be sure that this doesn't happen again or know uh, what is wrong with it so we can address it for any other um, customer that may have the same issue that you had. So that's that's a good thing, you know, that they really care of what, of what they're doing. And what's going to happen now, they're picking up this one and they will be sending another one. I mean, that's why I haven't posted in all this time because they send a new one and I have it right here. Let me see. I'm trying to move the box. It's close to 260 pounds. I think I'm gonna move the camera that is a lot easier. Here we go. Ah, there it is. A brand new GM9000 ID in a box. Then I will be getting out of the box soon. I will be putting this one inside that box somehow. I don't know how, I may need help for that. And, uh, contacting Gen Max so they can pick up this old unit and I will keep this one. And of course, I'm gonna be sure that the hours meter works on this one. And also I may have to go through the, uh, do the unbonding for the ne neutral bonding uh, because I'm using it for my house, you know, and I connect it to the panel. So let me put this here. Basically, that's what happened with this generator, okay? Um, also, I'm gonna put a clip here. Um, somebody commented that they had similar problem that I have with this one, and they find out that the uh, foam on top of the carburetor, you know, uh, somehow broke and uh, it was inside the carburetor. So I have a camera, let me show you. I have this camera here, right here. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Um, so I, I went inside the carburetor and I check and I look. There is no foam in there, so that wasn't the problem, right? And now I need to empty this, uh, the tank, to be able to ship it back to, to Gen Max so they can pick it up and uh, don't catch fire during transportation or nothing. So. For those people that, that wondering how to do it, I found this thing. I will be leaving a script, uh, link in the description below. So basically, works with batteries. You put it inside the tank, and this inside a gas container, and you turn it on, and it starts sucking all the gas from inside the tank, and you put it in a um, gas container. So. That's what I will be doing soon. I will be unboxing this one and doing everything that I already did again and making sure that it's, it's, it's working. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that they did a pretty good job with the customer service. Um, also, I got to say, they told me that they changed the switch customer service in United States. And I have to say that the first, very first time I contact um, supporting United States, there wasn't, they were not as fast responding as this time. This time they were really fast and they addressed the problem like really fast, no problem at all. At least 
I can't complain. So, I don't know. If you find this video helpful, you know, like it, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye.